Hello buddy, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video and welcome back to the Space Plane Hangar where I am uh, just putting down a Mark II cockpit as we can start construction of the Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser Space Plane. Um, this plane is an interesting one. Um, this, uh, the plane is, um, it's pitched as like a uh, space shuttle replacement slash commercial crew dragon competitor type thing. Um, it really is a dragon competitor as, you know, a Boeing Starliner, or, you know, like a commercial a crew, an ISS resupply craft. That's what its primary focus is. Uh, and then it's also kind of like, a, oh yeah, this thing is also a space plane that can carry crew and is reusable and can be quickly reused in 15 flights and oh my gosh. So it's like a space shuttle, but like capsule size. It's small, but it also technically has the same crew capacity as a space shuttle. It's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, this thing, this thing is an interesting plane. It's, uh, yeah, Dream Chaser, uh, which is being made by Sierra Nevada Corporation. Uh, it, uh, it's, I, I don't know. I don't have a great feeling about this one. Um, because I don't know if anyone remembers the space shuttle. Um, I mean, it was cool, right? You know, but it came in overly, overly, way overly budgeted and way over time and late and over budget and late and over budget and all. And, you know, I don't know, probably, I don't know how I've said this before, but late and over budget. Um, yeah, and this thing is very similar. And they're saying, like, oh, we'll be able to reuse it, like, in 10 days and it'll be 15 flights we can reuse. It's going to be amazing. And, like, remember how they said that with the space shuttle, too? And then it took, like, months and months and months to have to, like, replace every time little heat shield tile and you know comb through every tiny little screw and rivet and everything yeah it, it, that didn't really turn out well uh, for the space shuttle people so I mean maybe you know what these people they might be very innovative and they can come up with something but uh, all I'm doing right now is just gonna you know make their craft it's like a space plane um, that is gonna be launched on the Vulcan rocket which I'm gonna be making right now uh, this thing can carry one and a half tons of cargo to the ISS is what's what's being said uh, it, uh, which is similar to the Dragon spacecraft, uh, but it is actually going to be able to carry five and a half tons because uh, they are proposing they have like a little service module type thing that you can attach to the back of it uh, that uh, that can also carry more payload. It also can take out the trash of the ISS. Like they're saying, like you could throw a bunch of garbage in there and then you, uh, you'll you be able to jettison the, the trash into <laughs> when, the, when the service thing uh, blows up during re-entry. Uh, but yeah, it's launched on the Vulcan rocket, which is ULA's newest rocket, the Vulcan Centaur. It's like uh, the successor to the Atlas. It's actually very similar to the Atlas. It's really just an Atlas, but with, I believe, a slightly longer fuel tank and new SRBs and new engines, which are the BE-4 engines, which are be currently being developed by Blue Origin, which is uh, everyone's favorite Jeff, e Jeff, Jeff Bezos's company, where he just pretends orbit and space are the same thing. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the video, it's really funny. I'll link the video in the in the description. I'll put the video right there. It's, it's, yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite favorite videos. Memeing on Jeff Bezos is pretty funny. Although Amazon's pretty great. Um, so yeah, just making the bottom of the rocket, putting two of the um, mainsail engines that I'm using my analog to the BE-4, and then we can get ready to get her launched. So we are now on the launch pad and getting ready to fire up the two engines, and there we go. Uh, we didn't put any SRBs on the uh, booster. You can put up to, I believe, six or five on the Vulcan. I'm not, I don't quite remember. But we're doing none because this thing is way overbuilt and so overbuilt that I'm going to be pitching to the left instead of to the right like you normally would. And I'm going to be getting into a retrograde orbit, which is basically you're orbiting uh, opposite the direction of the planet's rotation. Um, and that uh, that costs a little extra delta V because you don't know. Um, and the reason you launch with the rotation of the planet is the rotation of the planet gives you a few hundred meters a second of free delta V, basically. Uh, so what we have to do this time is we have to cancel that free delta V and go backwards. So it's like about two, it's about 400 meters a second more expensive than uh, than going the normal way. But you know what? We have extra delta V, so why not? Uh, we're just about ready to get done with that main sail stage uh, or the bottom stage. And then we can stage that away and then we will fire up the Singulier RL-10 or the Poodle engine. Uh, which is the analog in KSP, which is what the Centaur is powered by, and we can get ourselves into orbit with our space plane. Uh, the real space plane uh, has, uh, like I said, a crew capacity of 4 to 7, but way, the way scale and stuff works in KSP, I can only set two Kerbals in here. Uh, yeah, this thing, yeah, I don't really have a great feeling about this plane really coming out. They're, they're saying they're on schedule and they're going to be out, we're going to be ready by 2021. I mean, ultimately, we're going to be ready by 2021, but that's, that's what they're saying. They have one prototype that is successfully tested its ability to land um yeah they're they're saying they're on track but you never know i have a i just 
have a bad feeling about this one. But um, we are now getting into orbit, basically. Um, I'm actually very, very happy because I was able to get into orbit with just one burn. Like, I didn't have to, like, stop and then glide on up to app apps and then do another burn. I, I, that's really satisfying. And a most efficient way of doing things, I think. Um, so that's, uh, I don't think anyone cares, but I do. I care about me. Maybe. Hopefully. Well, I hope I care about myself. Um, uh, I haven't even talked about what we're doing in this thing. Uh, we're going out to uh, Minmus with this guy. Um, we're going to be doing the uh, Minmus ejection burn with the Centaur, and then we're doing the correction burn also with the Centaur, and then we're going to be crashing the Centaur into the surface of Minmus. And then the plane is going to be circularizing and doing the rest of the stuff at Minmus. So I've not even talked about what are we doing at Minmus. So, guys, uh, if you look at the bottom of this video, uh, you will see my channel. And then right next to my channel, you will see uh, a little thing, that, 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 that the little number, and then a subscribe button next to it. And uh, if, if you're watching at the time of the release, uh, you will see that that number is very, very close to 1,000. So... I'm very, very close to getting 1,000 subscribers. So first of all, thank you guys. You guys are great. And I, I had a goal to get to 1,000 by the end of the month, uh, by the end of November. And I initially, when I first started my channel, I had a goal to get to 1,000 by the end of the year. And then you guys are just so awesome that I changed it to the end of the month. And it looks like I'm going to do it. Like, you know, keep the sub, subs in, right? You know, shameless plug. Um, but yeah, it's time to time to do a 1,000 sub special, right? I got to start planning that um, to, you know... Do 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 some sort of celebratory thing for how awesome you guys are. So, um, yeah, I have decided the celebratory thing that we're going to be doing is a 1,000 seat SSTO to Minmus and back with no refueling and no mining and no way is that going to work. But I'm going to try it anyway. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, that's the plan. And uh, what I'm going to be doing today with this plane is going to be a, a scout mission. Um, so yeah, we're going to be scouting out an area to land the SST-1 because we need to find a very high area to land because the SST-1 has really bad thrust rate ratio. And so we need to high, land as high as possible um, so we uh, we have as short of a landing burn as possible or, or a suicide burn because every second you are burning, you are fighting gravity. And every second you are fighting gravity uh, means you are losing efficiency. So we need to fight gravity for as little amount of time as possible and that requires landing as high up as possible so we burn for as little time as possible so we are going to be finding a spot and i like uh the spot that looks like that's straight ahead of me actually i do decide to change spots to the next one above it or next one like forward so you'll see me i believe i decide to yeah uh or i can't even remember what it yeah there we go i'm just starting to burn in the other direction and then i will go over to that other other plateau area and uh, try and land at that one is our landing spot. Uh, the real plane, uh, the real um, Dream Chaser is what this thing is called. Um, it uh, it act, it's only a it's only a crew uh, international space station resupply vehicle, so it can't actually go out to like the moon or anything. But you know, our my version is so much more epic that we are going out to Minmus with it because uh, I am epic epic gamer five thousand right. So we're now coming in, doing our suicide burn, just coming through 100 meters a second, and 90 meters a second, 80 meters a second. I don't know if you're starting to think what I'm thinking. 70, you know, looking like the ground is getting a little close there. 50, and oh, that um, is why we have quick save. So we'll just try that one more time and um, start our burn, uh, get in a better trajectory for our land. And so uh, what Valentina is going to do is once we land, she's going to EVA and put a flag out so we can actually know where to target with this thing. So with the uh, 1000 seat SSTO, so it'll be nice and easy just to land at that area. So we are just lowering the nose and touchdown a second ago. And uh, another reason I chose this place is it actually has a ramp near the end of it. Um, so we can actually ramp ourselves off and get into the air because uh, we have a we have really low TWR and are we're gonna be using nuclear stages to take off nuclear engines to take off, and uh, they're not known for their gimbling abilities. So we're gonna have to kind of like self propel us off the ground or like make a ramp. So Valentina is just gonna be putting down the American flag that totally has the right number of stars. Don't at me, or do I don't know. If you want to at me, you know Discord and in the description, right? Um, if you're watching at the time of the release, um, first of all, this isn't the video, original video I had planned for today. Um, I had a different video, but that video is taking longer than expected. So that's going to come out tomorrow or next day. Uh, so you guys get this video. And uh, if you're watching at the time of the release, um, release? I mean, a hard word to say when you're talking quick. Uh, we are taking off, by the way, um, doing totally not like a Tokyo Drift maneuver as we try and get into the sky. But uh, here we are, now we can head back to Kerbin. 
but if you are watching at the time of release, I never said it right, um, uh, this video is coming out a little bit later, maybe an hour and a half hour uh, later than my usual videos. Uh, the reason for that uh, is because I, on the Discord, you know, link in the description, right, guys? Um, we had a little bit of mystery on the Discord. We we actually this is a very big celebratory moment, right, for the channel. We got our we had to ban our first people from the Discord. That was you know right exciting. We got our first we got our first trolley bannable people. Um, and don't worry about this. It's not like a, it's not like we're gonna ban you for just doing nothing. But you know these people are being like you know pretty big jerks. So uh, you know we we got to we got a ban first bans. Isn't this exciting? Like if I think a week week and a half ago I got my or a week ago actually it was I got my first my first hate comment and now we got to ban our first people. Oh, it's it's actually quite exciting. Um, yay channel miles. Like who cares about a thousand subscribers? We just gotta. <laughs> You gotta celebrate people not liking. Well, it wasn't people not liking the destroyer. They were just being jerks and, you know, being rude and stuff. But, uh, that's not important. Um, we are now doing our re-entry into Kerbin. Um, one last note I want to do about the Discord. Um, I have to say this because we're going to be landing here in a second. Um, uh, we're, I think we're going to be doing a community space station on there where everyone can, like, submit a module. And I'll, like, build it and do one big nice video about it. I think that'll be really cool. So if you want to participate in that, I think I'm going to be starting that in less than a week. So if you want to join the Discord and do that, um, I think it would be really fun to get as many people as possible to, uh, it'll be a cool video. But coming into land, oh, and, uh, how on earth did that work? <laughs> <laughs> How did that not blow up? And now we're kind of drifting off, and I try and oh, and now we're blowing up. Oh, um, F9. Yeah, let's do an F9. So we are now coming in for attempt at number two. This thing is is really kind of janky to land because of the way the wheels are set up and the way the control surfaces are and like the lack of wings and stuff. But coming in, this is a really nice one. Look at that butter. And oh, ooh. That ain't good either, is it? Um, let's try that one more time. So, coming down again, dropping the gear, and this time I try and like flop it on the ground so we don't hit his like then. The, yeah, it worked, right? And oh, did that work? Um, we're not exactly upright. I wonder if anyone would notice. Um, well, let's just let's just bring the vehicle to a stop here, and then we can we can just go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll retract the landing gear here. This is NASA approved procedure, right? And then we can re-extend the landing gear. And oh, would you look at that? We are upright, and that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Next time, please write a comment to this video. And once again, thank you for watching. Next time, and bye.